a three-movie franchise ain't so wimpy. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Diary of a Wimpy Kid 3. Let's all go crazy, let's get it's pretty high. Are you talking to yourself? No. You're talking to yourself because you're scared. I'm not scared. Then go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I'm sure that nobody grows up wanting to star, direct, or have anything to do with a movie like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But let me tell you, you'd be lucky if you did, because these movies make money. And Hollywood loves anyone who could make money. Take Nina Jacobson. For years, she was one of Disney's biggest movie producers and was named one of the world's 100 most powerful women by Forbes magazine. She was responsible for shepherding The Princess Diaries, The Chronicles of Narnia, Pirates of the Caribbean, and discovering M. Night Shyamalan, all for Disney. Yet it was for disagreeing with Shyamalan over his script for The Lady in Water, he took the project to Warner Brothers as a result, which got her fired in 2006. Ironically, just days later, The Lady in Water hit theaters and delivered what would be Shyamalan's lowest debut and lowest grossing film ever. But even though Jacobson was right about The Lady in Water, that she cost Disney their relationship with Shyamalan and therefore the studio money was still unforgivable. So Jacobson had to start her own production company, Color Force, and quickly look for a property to turn into a film all by herself. She chose Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And then with a hit under her belt, studios began to warm to her again, and Jacobson was able to go on and produce none other than The Hunger Games, which I'm sure is exactly the kind of film so many kids would love to grow up and make. And even beyond Jacobson, star Zachary Gordon is in an excellent position to translate into adult comedies as he grows older. For instance, he was in Ted just this summer. Likewise, any one of his co-stars might also make the big time. As for Steve Zahn, it's important for him to show producers and directors around town that he's still working. So remember, when you look at a franchise like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, don't just judge it by whether or not you would enjoy the film, but by how many people in general enjoy it. Because enough people enjoy the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies to employ a bunch of hardworking actors and filmmakers and make The Hunger Games possible. And that's the circle of Hollywood. Now let's go meet some of those awesome people who contribute to that circle. How was Diary of a Wimpy Kid 3? Well, I just love, loved it. The movie was awesome, great, and Amazing. Have you seen all the movies from the franchise? No, I just, um, this is my second one I've seen. Did you like it better or the same or worse than the first one? I like this one better. Why did you like this one so much? Because it was talking about everything that I would really like. Are your summers like this? Um, not really. No? I would like playing video games a lot for my vacation. Yeah, right? He invites with his dad about that, right? And so you're on the video game camp. Right, yeah. Do you keep a diary? No. Do you keep a diary? Yeah. Oh, sometimes. great. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Oh, that's great. Your friends, if they were like, should I see Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days? But I think it, they would call him lame and dumb. You think they would call the movie lame and dumb? Why? Because they never watched it, and they think they think that Diary of the Wimpy Kid is lame. Do your friends watch these movies? Um. No, not really. Some of oh, them do. No? What do you think they're missing? Are they missing out? Do you think they're yeah. yeah? What what's what to people who've never seen a diary of a wimpy kid movie, why should they watch it? Um because like I said, it's funny and um Roderick. Yeah? Oh, do you like Roderick? Yeah. I say it's awesome. Amazing! <laughs> well, I'm glad that you still went to see it and had a good time. So as you can see, these young viewers think the franchise is worth standing up for, saying they like Diary of a Wimpy Kid 3 a lot. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope it go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.